Okay, so in today's video, we're about to make the flashcards. First, you'll go to a blank presentation. Um, I'm about to paste the cards that I already made for reference. So here we are. Now I'm about to change the slot size. This is very important. Go to design, click the slot size, and then go to custom size. Type in 11 inches by eight and a half inches, which is the size of paper that you'll be printing on. Um, click OK, maximize fit, voila. So here I'm just um, confirming the size that I use for these flashcards. Um, as well as the font size. Now let's get started. I am deleting these text boxes um, because I want a blank slide to start. So now we want to go to insert shape. Um, there you find your shapes right here. You can use the rectangle or the rounded corners to rectangle, which is what I'll be using. From here, I am going to change the the dimensions to 4.75 by 3.25 inches and then I am going to change the fill to no fill the shape outline I'm going to change the weight to six point as well as change the font color to I mean the uh, outline to black From there, I am about to insert the text box. And type in the letter A. Select it, change the font to what I want, and then increase the size. You can use this button or you can use the drop down box right here. You can also type in the size that you want. Make sure you center it. Like so, like that. Um, okay, so here's the issue. Um, sometimes you will need to group, you know, the things that you're creating. And it doesn't always work if you try to do it all together. So sometimes you have to click the individual boxes using shift and then right click to actually group it. Okay, one more time. Again. Okay, so now I'm doing the shift um, thing to group it. So group that, that way you can copy and paste and it'd be the same size and all you have to do is edit the text instead of uh, recreating the whole thing. Okay. You can align it how you want to. I choose to put five on one page just to maximize the amount of space in paper that I use. Um, from here, you rotate it 90 degrees. I'm not sure if you can do that, you know, by typing it in or not, but I just do it manually. Okay, we're going to drag it once again. There we go. So now I am about to, okay, paste again, rotate, and then eventually we're going to get into editing the text. Okay, so here we go. All you have to do is select and then erase, um, and then start typing in what you want to type. This is super easy if you're, all, if you're doing the flashcards in a very similar way. Um, yeah, it's just really plug and play. You can change the color of the text using that box. Um, and then you can change the color of the outline. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, change the color of the outline. What is going on? Yeah, give me a minute. Oh, okay, so I'm ungrouping. That way, you won't have a purple line around the actual text box for the alphabet. So now I'm changing the shape outline to purple as well. Um, I'm about to change the color for B. You don't actually have to ungroup, but just to make sure you don't have any extra 
um, color boxes you know you can do it that way so yeah this is how you change the color you just click on that um, you can also use the um, actual tab on the page Ooh. and I'm gonna do different colors just to be a little fancy you can use the eyedropper feature if you don't want to select the color manually um, this is great for when you have different images and you want to bring out a certain color. So yes, I am just changing the colors of the flashcards. So each color is different. So you can get a feel of what I had to do when I created my set of flashcards. Now, on the next slide, I'm about to show you guys how I created the shapes flashcards. Now, these flashcards are the same size as well, and they were created on the PowerPoint. So, I didn't insert any images. Um, everything was created from scratch using the features here. So, now I'm going to insert shape. Um, we're going to start over, but you don't have to. Um, you can copy and paste if you want to um, or not. But yeah, enter 4.75 by 3.25 once again. You're going to go to no fill, change the weight of the outline. Then we're going to go to... Okay, I'm showing you the size of the shape I use. There's this tab box on the right where you can see the size of it. And if you want to increase it, all I have to do is enter the button or type in a number. So I'm going to do a triangle. Um, the thing, it could be tricky with this because depending on how you want it, you know, it may look deformed a little bit. So you just play with the settings. Um, like I am doing. So you insert the shape. Now you want to go to insert text box. Mm -mm -mm. Text box inserted. I'm about to type in triangle, change the font, change the size, center it, and then you could change the color. like so like that now I'm going to select the whole thing to copy and paste or to try to group once again and it works on the first try okay now I'm about to actually copy it and then paste it mm -hmm. And copy it again or paste it again so again I usually put five flashcards on one page but you do not have to do it so for this one I am about to change the shape first ungroup it you right click for that now I'm about to change the shape go to insert shapes and I am choosing an oval. Oh, that's a circle. If you want to correct the size, you go to the right tab right here. I'm gonna type in 2.5, I think. And you do the same for the bottom if you want it to be equal. And then you just type in the shape. So I'm typing in circle. And you do the same for this one. Um, you don't have to ungroup each time but it may be useful depending on what you're trying to do. So I inserted a heart for this one. Um, again, you're making the shapes from scratch. So if you want them to look normal, you have to play around with the settings a little bit. Like that. And then change the name. So this is all this to it. Um, I'm about to show you how to insert graphics from your um, files on your computer 
So this is for when you have like different graphics or specific pictures or even things that you save from the internet. Um, I'm going to show you using this one right here. So all you have to do is delete the shape that's on the flashcard. Okay, let me paste this one. Rotate it. <clears throat> and then from there, we're going to go to insert. Delete it, of course. And then go to insert picture from this device. Um, I have my folder already set up, but you know, you can go to your different, um, a different folder if you want to like this. And I'm going to shapes since we're doing shapes already. I'm going to choose one and it appears huge. So this is where you type in the size on the right side. Um, and then of course, depending on how you set your flashcards up, you may have to rotate it 90 degrees like I have to do. And then change the name. If you want to change the outline, you just go to shape outline, um, click on the shape of um, a color, or you can use the eyedropper feature to um, change it to the color of the actual shape. Now I'm about to do the last one. I'm about to change it to another shape just to finish off scrum we're gonna do a star this time again you type in the size that you would like rotate it or not change the name and then change the outline color Type it in star. And then now I am about to change that outline color, I think. Yes. So go to, sh I think it's shape format. And then cl click on the eyedropper, touch the pink color, and it automatically gives you the same shade. You can also change the font by clicking on recent colors. The same with the triangle as well. So right click um, and then use the eyedropper feature or use the recent colors to change out the color. And that's it, y'all. It's not as hard once you get a feel for it. You just have to practice a little bit and know exactly what size you want to 